CQ, CQ, this is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Not many other people need to see what I've seen. They need to see... This is the way it's been done for billions of years. The small moves are... Okay, here I am. I'm on the Able Gamer I'm server. I'm supposed to be doing other stuff today. One of the things I'm supposed to be doing is Pillages the Villages. There's an issue with that in that I've had a really stressful week. And I have some big stuff going on starting tomorrow. Um, and maybe even some today. That I need to concentrate on that. And I don't want to mess up Pillages the Villages. You know, by trying to rush it like it is a, um, chore. I want to do it right. For one thing, this week we're supposed to, uh, let's see. Oh, right. There's, um, we're having bonus challenges every week. Oh, I keep forgetting about this. Um, we're having bonus challenges every week, um, in addition to the regular stuff and how you can get points and stuff. This week's challenge is 10 spiders. And the first time I'm all like, that's not fair because I haven't seen any spiders. And then suddenly I remembered, because I reviewed my videos, and I remembered, you know what? There are, um, I heard spiders when I logged off. And there was an abandoned mine shaft. So I'll bet, why do I hear bad guys? I'll bet if I, um, put down some fence posts and stuff so they don't kill me, I bet I'm going to find a cave spider spawner. So, I, but, you know, that requires, ooh, look at all that. I'm growing grass up here. I don't have any silk touch yet, so I'm having to do it the slow way. Boy, it sure grew a lot overnight, didn't it? Wow. Um, this is the upper story to my lemon house. As you can probably tell by looking, because it's the upper story of the lemon house. I want to see how far this grass grew. Holy guacamole. I need to go very, very far on the boat to find some dark oak. I finally figured out something about this. They were smart when they put this map together. See, this world is actually creative and... Er... Creative and... Survival. I'm playing in pure survival because... Well, I don't have creative perms, and quite frankly, I'm really enjoying the heck out of... Just built doing this you know oh I want to put a chest up here and a crafting table because um I've got a whole bunch of glass and stuff on me and I want to go do some other adventures and I don't want to have it on me so why did I want all this oak wood oh right because of the roof I'm going to kind of do the same roof design that um there is down below but in dark oak and oak oak see this is jungle and Oak. And yeah. I want to kind of like mimic this floor pattern, but I want to do it in um, dark oak and Oh, oak. I retextured coal. Look, I should show you that. Wait a minute. Let me show you what it looks like when you throw it. Um, Q. Q, Q. That's not Q. There, see? I can see coal when it's in my inventory. Look! It had, you know, the square, around the square was transparent. And I just let it be, um solid and i did the same thing with flint and i did the same thing with charcoal but of course flint has a c on it and charcoal has a ch i mean flint has an f doesn't but i hear sticky feet let me show you around show you what i've been doing i'm my not gosh. going to focus on um trying to do pillages of villages until i can really focus on doing pillages of villages you don't want to screw it up because i tried to rush it with everything else that's going on. Somebody with a very large server, um, uh, with a lot of mini games and stuff on it, and creative, and I think they're even starting a survival world now, has donated space so that I can have a whitelisted private server put together my build team. Mule. It isn't a little baby since I logged off. But it's not tame yet, I have to tame it. So this is uh, my mule door. But it's pretty mule proof. Out here is my garden. I've got some decorative trees. And I think I've got pretty much all the crops. Remember this used to be just all that I had planted. Because you know how I am about having pumpkins. 
And the I just think that the um, melons go well with the pumpkins. So I think I've got every kind of fruit and vegetable now, or vegetable. Well, pumpkins and melons are fruit. I'm having an argument with myself. So I'm going to have my server soon. The guy who's uh, the admin for the server has been very busy with another project and hasn't been able to um, finish it. But he knows the seed I want. And he's also got the files to the old Granny Grinder servers. And, um, ooh, eggs, eggs, eggs. And he's going to um, be putting, I think, the main world that was part creative and part um, survival. He's going to be putting that on there. That's my chicken coop. I thought leaves on top would make sense because why not? They're cheap, you know. Eggs, 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 eggs. Anybody? Oh, golly, all the egg laying going on. I can't keep up with you people. I had a whole bunch of chickens in here, but it was causing some lag. And I was the only one on the server. And I was feeling really guilty. Nope, not seeing any eggs. Thanks, girls. Have a nice day. Well, don't get in the way of the. Ooh, dogs are teleporting. Oh, stop pooping eggs. I'm not even there. So he's doing that probably today. But I'm not, you know, I'm just going to wait. When it's done, it's done. I pretty fied some of the ponds and stuff, and I bone meal grass. Oh, I found a really nice trick. Maybe you want to do I have a looting on my sword now. I got a looting book when I was fishing. Um, I also have fortune on my pick pick. Oh, I better watch out. Dogs are going to get hurt. I got a thing off one of these. Whoa, not a thingy. I don't want a creeper. Oh, it'll hurt my dogs. It'll hurt my dogs. Anyway, I was bone mealing over here by this guy's house. Urgh, it's already working. I'm so sick. Whoa, why am I flying like? Whoa, where's that creeper? That creeper is still following me. Oh, no. Look, there's a flower forest right here. So I've been picking flowers. Well, mostly I've just been washing them, you know, with a bucket. And then... Oh, no, I hurt my dogs. It would seem there's jump boost or something on this beacon. Whee! Um, and so now I have flowers, and I built this little walkway to lead to my house. And I think I can even um, take a horse on it. I'm not for sure, but I think I can. So I'm doing just pooping around stuff. I had to go really far to get these trees. Really, really far to get these trees. Um, and I want them because... I like the accent of the dark oak with the lemon yellow. I think it looks really nice. Oh, if you've never done this, do this. Make a devil's food cake. Any kind of cake mix will do. One trick that I do with devil's food to make it taste darker and richer is instead of, you know, cake mixes will say to put in water. Nope. Cold coffee. Really good cold coffee. You know, like leftover coffee. And um, that's one trick. If it says put in vegetable oil, nope. Put in some butter that you melted and let it cool enough so that it won't like cook the egg when you mix the egg in with it. Um, Cause you don't want scrambled eggs in your cake, right? Well, maybe you do, I don't know. I don't. Um, so that's a trick. But here's the thing, when you make the icing, all you need to do is powdered sugar, butter, and I mean real butter. Don't use any old cheap, crappy margarine. Use real butter. Powdered sugar, butter, and lemon juice. So it's like really, really tart, like um, like lemonade. So you have this thick, buttery, fresh-tasting um, um, icing. So you bake your cake in two layers, and you put the icing in between, and put some icing on top, and oh my gosh, it's really good. My house reminds me of a devil's food cake with lemon icing. Yes, now I've made myself hungry. I'm hoping I will get enough saplings so that I can make extra trees. I have three saplings. You know you need four of them to make these trees. I have three saplings in the house. I'm hoping this time I will end up with, like, uh, 12 total so I can grow three trees. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get back in a boat and go over to the place where they are and steal another tree and hope I get enough saplings to replant that tree as well as bring, sap bring saplings home. Because I would like this whole thing to be like um, 
covered over with these dark oak trees. I really like them. I like the shape. I like the mysteriousness and kind of creepiness. You know, I like walking on top of them. As you see, my house is getting tall enough that soon I will be able to walk on top of them. Um, now, uh, I don't want to wander off too far while I'm waiting for these leaves to despawn. But, I want to show you this. I made this bridge. This bridge, I will run very, very fast. Except I'm hungry. So, I can't run very, very fast. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now I can't see. This is the best fishing pond under here. I stand right about there by that fence so things can't sneak up on me. And I throw it into over there where the brown dirt is because it's darker. Much easier to see where the bobber is and very easy to see where the bubbles are when the fish are coming. I've hardly ever been able to see the bubble particles. If it's in, if it's over dirt underwater, I can see the particles. So I made this, and I made this hole. And, oh, um, my leaves are going to despawn. I don't want to be away too long. And then I put in this little boat dock and all these little boats. And then if I go way over there, there's dark oak. But I want the dark oak over here, obviously. So what they've done is they've taken, like blocks of chunks from all kinds of biomes and they sort of stitched them together. You can tell because this is like a blank wall. There's a lot of these sheer cliffs and stuff where they splice biomes together. And actually for a server like this where it's sort of an introductory sampler server for uh, people who may not be very familiar with the game, this is a really good idea because it means there's a bunch of biomes all close together so you have access to all sorts of resources. This is like a sampler, like I said. So um, that makes a lot of sense. Now, did anything despawn? One, two, three. That looks like more than two. Oh, here's one in the water. Uh, yeah, the, see, they stick together, so I'm not sure how many I got. How many did I got? How many did I got? I did it! I can plant three trees without, without the um, saplings that are, whoops. That are already in the house. I did it! Three trees, bros! Um, I need to tell you something about dogs while I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it this morning. You know how in real life you get really attached to your dog and your dog is like your friend and hang out buddy and y'all party together and you, you know, you do things together and you kind of like, well, if you really appreciate dogs, you kind of like modify your life, um, so that it's better suited to living with a dog, you know? I mean, you don't have to do anything real crazy, but it helps to just be, like, conscious of the fact that you have a dog, right? I don't have a... Oh, I got a potion! Woo! Um, but, I mean, you do things so that it's easier for your dog, and it's easier for you living with your dog and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, like, um... Like, I had a dog once that used to like to chase ice cream trucks. He hated ice cream trucks. He was always, I swear there's more in here. Yeah, there are. Um, he was always, he wanted to kill the ice cream trucks. So when I knew the ice cream person was going to come down the road, what I had to do was, I got that fishing. I got the fortune um, book fishing. Yeah, I've been having good luck with the fishing. Um, so what I had to do was he would get out any way he could. So when it was the time of day that I knew that the ice cream truck was coming, I'd ask him to come in the house. And the ice cream truck would go go down the street and he'd bark and carry on. But he couldn't do anything, right? Except this one time, my neighbors came and they said, Granny, your dog is in the street chasing the ice cream truck. And I'm like, how? I can put four trees. <gasps> four trees, finally. I don't have a water bucket. That's so dumb. Because you can't have any grass. Look. Not only do you have to clear out the four spots where you're going to put them. These can't be being touched by anything else. So all of these have to go. Yep. I'll tell you what. It's starting to affect oak trees and stuff now too. It's better if you take out anything around. Sometimes it'll make oak trees grow too tall. But sometimes what it does is um, they just won't grow at all. If they're too close to something else touching them. Well, I fell in my hole. I've got to not do that. That's I should cover that up. That's just so stupid. 
So what I had to do was, I went in and I looked, and what he'd done was, the latch on the window in the living room window that faces the street, it wasn't a very good latch. Wait a minute, I have seeds? Yes. I have hoe? Yes. All right, then. Um, the latch was broken on that window, and even though he was a very small dog, he wasn't a really, really small dog, but he wasn't a big dog, um, he could push the window open, because the, um, not only was the thing that you wind the window with broken, but, um, also the latch to make sure the window was, you know, like, locked tight, that was broken also. So he, if he worked really, really hard at it, and believe me, he did, he was very motivated to do this, um, he could push the window open and get out. So just knowing things like that about having a dog, you know, makes it easier to be a dog owner and makes it more fun to be a dog owner because you don't have to be worried about stuff, right? Well, in this game, your attachment to your dog is very different. Dogs are tools in this game. They are equipment. That's the way the game developer thought of them. I know it's not true in real life, but if you think about dogs in this game, or horses, or cats, um, or sheep, or anything, if you think about them the way you would think about them in real life, you're going to get your heart broken. Because they are going to get hurt, and they are going to die. It's going to happen. It's just no matter how careful you try to be. The only way to keep your animals safe, safe, is to never use them. Never take your horse out for a ride. Never take your dogs with you when you go hunting. You know? Because creepers creep. And even though dogs are really strong and like I've got all this rotten flesh with me, see? Um, even though you do everything you know how to do and you sit them down so they won't go in lava and blah, 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 something can happen. You know, there might be a cave you didn't see. Like, this ground here is full of holes. And there could definitely be something out here I didn't see and a dog fall in and get bad hurt. And then it's just wounded enough that a creeper comes along and boom, the dog is dead. Want to see something funny? Watch. This is so much fun. I love watching the skeletons run. Well, see, two of them went after the skeleton. Well, one of them did go after the zombie. And you're going to get it, too. I have to eat. I have to eat. I have to eat. But it's so funny to watch skeletons running away from dogs. So I spend a lot of my time with my animals out here. But I keep some in the house. And the same with the mules. I don't ride my donkey. Oh, I got a free bow. I don't ride my donkey out here when I can get another donkey and start breeding donkeys. Sure, I'll ride donkeys. I think donkeys are much cuter than mules. They're not as fast, but they still carry cargo, and they're just cute as dickens. So when I can, I will ride donkeys, but I can't breed them yet, so... Ah, no, my poor dogs. So, um, I'm not, I'm not bringing my donkey out. My donkey stays in the barn where she's safe, and she's, I, she's for breeding. Oh, my gosh. The craziness out here. Everybody's after me. All the baddies in the world want a piece of me. I have looting on my sword. Why am I not using it? Oh, God, there's a witch. Ha, ha, ha. I can't find my sword. That's why. <laughs> oh, I got another one. These are really nice witches. And I'm really hurt. Oh, and there's an ender pants. Well, I gotta wait till I'm done jumping up and down before that happens. Where'd you guys kill everybody? Because there's carnage everywhere. I know it. The problem is finding all the XP and stuff, you know. See, like falling in this hole. That's really steep. And I didn't know. I fell in that hole. And then the thing over the railroad track, which I modified a little so it's not quite so gruesome. So my donkey stays safe. And I've got some dogs in the house that I don't let out, just in case I need to breed them. And, of course, I carry um, rotten flesh with me in case I want to breed one in the field. This is the wrong way. Um, so you just can't think of them the way you would think of a real dog, you know? Um, they're... Their tools. And I'm starting to explore now. I've got a little bit of gold, which is why I could finally breed horses and mules. I'm not breeding too many of these guys. These again are my breeding stock in case I need them. 
There should be some, yeah, there's some cows and rabbits and I, there were pigs. I don't know if I still have them or not. Oops. Um, but I did have. And see, these guys can't get out here. They're the only animals in here is my, well, the dogs for breeding. But the horses mostly are in here and the other livestock are downstairs. So yeah, you can't think of them, you can't be emotionally attached to them. And I think that's a little problematic for me. Because I think kids need to know how to take care of animals well and properly and respectfully. So um, it's kind of too bad that they don't get to have that experience in Minecraft. Because let's face it, for a lot of people, these are the only animals they will ever know. I mean, they, they'll never have pets in real life, right? So it would be nice if they had a more realistic appraisal and, and more respect instead of just using them as tools kind of thing okay now the rest of the tour so I've been out here and I've been working on this garden uh, this was gonna be my tree farm but it's just really not enough space I had um, spruce out here and I had jungle wood so here's my little workroom with all my stuff well oh, I could put the hoe and seeds back that's a good thing um so all my little tools and stuff this goes back down to the animal pen but if you go up this way and out, this is just, um, oh, I, that's my emergency cow. I found one just kind of wandering around and looking kind of aimless and lost. So, um, this was just flat space, pretty much. I had to take a little bit of, um, a little bit of it off to make it good and flat. But it's all oak, and that's for utilitarian stuff, just like sticks and tools and things like that. Sorry if there's a lot of noise from the wind, but there's my zombie pond. I left it the way it is. And then over there, this jungle's been really chewed up. So, oh! So, how do I respawn? Where do I respawn? Okay. Now, this is one of those servers where you can do cheesy stuff. P-A-C-K. Bink. Wow. It even puts your stuff back where it was. I didn't know I was even that weak. So... Oh, goody. Fun with skeletons. Go get it. The only thing is, I lost 30-something levels, but that's all right. I'm working so hard and breeding so many animals and getting so much coal and stuff. I've got XP all the time, and I did use some of my XP. So this jungle was worrying me because it was all torn up, right? Well, I took out the ratty-looking trees, and then I retreated. I made a tree farm just right in front of the jungle biome. This is another one of those patches. It was just kind of plopped down in here. And it's got raggedy edges, so you know it wasn't naturally generated terrain. So here is some natural jungle. And then as I get saplings where these um, jack o' lanterns are, I'm planting more trees so that we will have a nice tree farm. So that's one thing. And then over here, look, I put, oh no, I didn't put all my items back where they belong. But it's pretty close. Um, that one. It put my hot bar back. That's what it did. Well, that's it. I don't really need these arrows because you're not going to believe this. I have an infinity bow. I fished it. Look at this bow. Power four, punch one, unbreaking three, flame one, and infinity one. Now, oh, yeah. I don't have an anvil, but my neighbor does. And my neighbor has um an enchanting table. So, until I can... I thought about just not being able to enchant and stuff until I could um, make my own enchanting table and my own, what's it, my own anvil. But it really doesn't make sense for what I'm trying to do here because I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And um, I really need to have some enchantments and stuff. So I just figured, oh well, I'll just do this and when I can do it, when I can make my own stuff, I will make my own stuff. But right now I can't, so I will borrow other people. But, you know, it feels a little cheaty to me, because you know how I am. I like to be able to, whoops, do my own thing. But I do that in regular survival vanilla. I won't um, use um, cheats. Uh, and if I haven't earned it, like if I don't have lapis, I don't have lapis. Well, right now I'm playing on survival, so I have to have lapis. But, yeah, so I don't have quite enough iron to justify making, um, 
um, and enchant, I mean, an uh, anvil right now. Obviously, this is a mob dropper. Well, what it is, it's a dog food farm. Um, 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 um they fall down here. It's, uh, zombies. They fall down here. Extra meat and stuff goes in here. Oh, I could use these torches. Thank you. Um, and I'll show you where the zombie spawner is. So they come up this little chute. It's not the most efficient. I didn't quite do it right. The baby zombies drown. But it's as good as it's going to get. So down here, see? Dog powered dog food factory by Granny Gamer 1. So the spawner is here. And then you go over here. Boy, it didn't take them long, did it? You go over here and you make them mad by looking at them. See? Hi, guys. So they're going down to shoot. And then when they get over here, you stand right here and you provoke them. I said, Nanny, Nanny, ha. Huh? Let them know you're there. Right? See, there's a baby. I'm going to put a piston thing on this. So that when I see a villager, I can, I'm not quite ready yet because I don't have the potion. And I don't know whether it even is a potion stand or anything. Well, it's just fermented spider eye and a, um, you know, a golden apple kind of deal. So I will do it, but, um, I need to cure some zombie villagers because I want them to lose my house. Any that I don't want, I'm just going to turn loose in a while. So you can stand here at AFK, stand here at punch myth, they clog up just for fun. Let them make eye contact, see, they can see you. If you can see their eyes, they can see you. Once in a while, clob them once. So they don't just stand there, so they'll push each other up the thing. See, and up they go. Dogs are so excited, they want to kill them so bad. Glad they're not, but they want to. There you go. Come on, single file, one after the other, let's go. And then you just go back out here. Whoa, I guess we should probably move that on. Um, yeah. We climb up the stairs. I keep a dog down here just in case I forget to bring one. So that if, if something happens and they start hitting me, you know. Then up they go. Isn't this nice? I mean, the noise is awful, but... So, no, it's not the most efficient thing in the world. And I never have the patience to stand around and wait. But I've had as many as, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 of them at one. Wish I had OptiFine Zoom, but I don't. So you can't see them too well up there at the top. And then, you just whack them like you would an ender, per, an ender thing. And the dogs just have a party. Making their own dog food. any armor or anything off of them. I don't know what level this um, server is set at. If it's set it easy, then there won't probably hardly be any armor or anything off of these guys at all. But I did get an iron who's it, you know? So I'm happy. The only thing is it makes all the other zombies around you mad. Well, not all of them. Because now we have those leader zombies. There's one zombie, you can never tell what they look like, because they look like everybody else. But they have code written into them so that they are the leader. They are the only ones who can knock down doors. And they are the ones who call the other zombies. It's helped keep the villages safe. So you're not always worried about a board, you know, clobbering your villagers. Ooh, a potato. That's how I finally got potatoes again from doing this. Yeah, I wouldn't let myself plant potatoes because I didn't have any. I'll take it with me. What the heck? So that's my zombie thing. And then, oh, I am stuck in a glitch. And then, over here. Where is it? I'm not right going to go all the way under the cave. But right down there. No, right down here. I made the hole in the wrong place. There is a spider spawner. Just regular old spiders. So I'm going to make that into a thing, too. 
So, um, yeah, because free string and free eyes and carrying villagers and that kind of thing. And then my neighbor has a wheat farm right here, which is real handy. I mean, I have wheat too, but only part of it is touchable because part of it is protected. And they put these lily pads here, which is, see, they get lost. People punch the wheat and they accidentally punch the lily pad. So, um, it's not really ideal. And I put this so crops won't get stomped on so much. Um, so I put these here instead. I don't know why there's nothing planted in that one. Um, because it just makes more sense to, um, to not be punching the lily pads, you know? So it works just as well. I think there might be some up here in this, um, chest in the front. I can replace that one that says, hey, there's a red sheep in here. I'm the one dying the sheep. Don't tell anybody. It's a troll. Whenever I see a sheep out running around in the wild, I die it either red or, yeah. Um, I either dye it red or I dye it, um, yellow. See, you can't even open that one. So, I don't know if there's anything in there or not, because it's part of the protected part. Now, where was that spot with the missing thing? Whenever I find one with a lily pad missing, I'm going to cover it with a ha with a slab. Where was it? Where was it? Oh, there it is. It's kind of tricky. You have to, it's easier to crouch. Ugh. But it's hard to find the hitbox. There you go. So there's plenty of weed over here. Just this part over here is kind of well. It's kind of torn up. You see, the part that's inaccessible hasn't been um, maintained very well. I don't know who built this. So I just keep a few things in here with the ant with the animals with the um, hose and stuff for um, if things need repairing. You know. And goodness knows they made enough hoes. They're crappy hoes, but they're hoes. So, what else? Well, pretty much, I've been kind of sticking to my own stuff. Because I have plenty to do. You know, I don't need to be messing with other people's stuff. But, I mean, there's, like, things that I need to, I can't get out of here, can I? There's things that I need to share. And, um resources that I need to utilize. What if I just jump? <gasps> Boy, I even went in the water. Wow. But bread's a cheap source of food and that meat is sitting right there. I mean, I do eat other stuff because like I said, I have been fishing. I've been eating my animals. I haven't been using my animals at all until I have diamonds and obsidian and stuff for an enchanting table. Look! Look at the trees! Oh my god, that's so cool. Might as well go out and see if there's any other trees. Um, there's not really any point in getting too excited about food. As long as I'm not starving, who cares, right? They did a replica of the Able Gamers offices. I think that's what that is right there. That's their logo, a game controller. Um... Anyway, they did like a scale model of their offices right over here somewhere. I hear a scooter. You don't knock me off my dang ladder, doofus. You know, this is really bad for your health, scooter. Because my boys, they don't like when people moose with me. Nah, uh See, I built all this. And I just, I needed some cobblestone. I thought, well, why don't I make a hole in the... So, no. Where'd all the boats go? Oh, one, two, three. Oh, they're all here. Four. Will this boat move? Will this boat move? Will this boat move? Okay, let's see if the dogs can keep up. I never know which way I'm going. Okay, the moon's on that side. Alright, so I must be going... Am I going north? One, two, three! South. <laughs> north is the way back. Okay. Hey. There's hardly ever anybody on this server. What it is, it's a subscription server. It was donated. There are no dogs. There are no dogs. I guess I outran them. I have no protection out here from bad guys. This is probably a really stupid idea. Okay, well, here's the dark oak forest. And things want to kill me, so I'm going to turn around and go back. Because if I don't have my dogs, there's no point. 
I'm really dog dependent. Oh, you're a now it seems to me I go this way, past the flaming whiz bang. I wonder where the dogs are. Oops. Hope I didn't get them kill depated or something. Because I really outran them. Okay, now let it go. Here they are, poor guys. They were trying to swim and they lost me. Boat, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Just stop gently. 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 It's better if you wait till the boat stops moving before you get out. If you can be patient. Now, if things are trying to bite your butt, then no, don't even. But boats are less likely to move around a whole lot if you just wait. Don't anybody go under the thing, okay? Where are the other dogs? I know there's more dogs. Hey, buddy. Let me get up here and maybe you guys can teleport. I don't want dead dogs. There's only one dog. Where's the other dogs? There's two dogs. There's one missing. There it uh -oh. is. Okay, we have three dogs, I think. Okay, so we'll just go back home. But what's about to happen is a big deal. Um, and I'm going to be able to work on my adventure map. And then plus there's this other thing. I told you about Adam Clark. Um, he's part of the team that made the tape maps and temple craft. Um, and through him, I've met all of the map builder people. Well, not all of them, but a big bunch of them. Starting tomorrow night, it's the third season of a challenge that they've given themselves and each other. That is to build an adventure map, but do it in survival. And, um, so tomorrow night, I'm missing a dog. It might have drowned. I don't know. Don't go into water, don't go into water. Um, so starting tomorrow night, I've got the um IP for the server. I've already been on with the server owner today. And we're connected with each other in Skype. We're starting the third season of um adventure map building in survival. We all use the same seed. The seed will be on the server and it will also be uh, you can do it as single player or do it on your own server with your own friends kind of thing. So, um, it starts tomorrow night and it'll be every week we'll show what we're able to do. Building in survival. Yeah, I lost a dog. Ooh. Um, building in survival. An adventure map. I have no idea what I will do or how well I will do. It's my first try. It's just going to be fun as the dickens to collaborate with some of the best map builders in Minecraft. Um, and mostly I'm just going to just shut up and listen, you know. Because it's a real chance to learn stuff that I never knew I didn't know. I'm going to put that down because somebody... There's a... What? What are you doing in there? Why are you in my basement? Oh, good. What are you going to do? Whoa, I'm inside of a donkey. That's never a good thing. Ha ha. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I'm going to try not to hit my animals with a tool. Anything soft? Oh, yeah. Spider tree. That would be good. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I can put up pillages the villages, obviously. And bye. And I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adopt it!